Okay, so now we've added in our external links from the previous lecture to our other digital properties. Before we start making any other changes to our profile, it's really important that we understand the privacy settings within LinkedIn. And there's a couple of really good reasons for that, and I'll jump right on into them. So first of all, to be able to find the privacy settings, you simply need to navigate to the little photo of yourself on the top right-hand corner of the page and then go all the way down to privacy and settings and you've got a little manage button there so if we click on that you may be asked to sign in again with your password it's absolutely fine and then you get sent through to this page here now I encourage you to spend some time and go through this page anyway to make sure that everything's right exactly as it should be for you however there are a couple of things uh, that I think are worth mentioning at this point so we don't bombard and upset or uh, give too much away to our current and existing network and what I mean by that is uh, there's a couple of these privacy controls here I want to highlight or bring your attention to one is turn on off your activity broadcasts now if you click on that you can see you get a full description of each of these so if you're not familiar with them or you're not sure what they mean I encourage you to click on them all and read them and make sure it's set up as uh, you want them however I do advise that you turn off activity broadcasts now essentially what this means is if that's turned off um, people in your network won't be updated anytime you change your profile picture or your headline or you change a job description because you're trying to optimize it um, now this is quite important certainly while you're making changes to your LinkedIn profile let's put it this way if you were to start or spend the next hour optimizing your LinkedIn profile and making lots of changes and amendments every time you hit that save button your network will be updated with that small change that you will have made now that can be become really quite annoying it's not relevant in most cases so whilst you make plenty of changes to your LinkedIn profile which we will be doing in later lectures it's really important that we have this turned off if you want to you can turn it back on afterwards but be aware every small change that you make will be sent out to your network via a series of updates next I'm not going to go through every single one of these there's just a few that I do think are quite important next we have select who can see your activity feed now we want to reach as many people as we can with LinkedIn and I don't expect you to believe me blindly again we will go through this in later uh, lectures as to why it's such a good idea to have a broad and very deep uh, audience rather than a very narrow one uh, so for this particular one I select to everyone if I'm going to do something uh, a status update or I have my activity feed turned on I want absolutely everybody to be able to see that select what others see when you viewed their profile now if you look at somebody's uh, LinkedIn profile depending on the type of account they have and that sort of thing will determine how much they can see of you now personally if I'm looking at someone's LinkedIn profile I have absolutely no problems at all with them being able to see that I've looked at their profile in fact it's led to one or two very interesting conversations which we'll talk about in another lecture so I always make sure they can see my name and my headline I don't try and uh, hide any of my details or anything like that uh, it's not like I'm snooping around or spying on people um, next up is turn on off how you rank now how you rank shows how you compare to your connections and colleagues in terms of profile views. Now, I have this turned off, and the only reason why I see this is because if, for example, in a particular week I haven't had many profile views and somebody's trying to see uh, how active I am on LinkedIn or anything like that, I just don't think it's of any benefit for anybody else other than me to know this. Um, so I just simply turn that off, but it's entirely up to you. You can have it on if you want to. Next up is select how, uh, or select, sorry, who can see your connections. Now, I allow all of my connections to see all of my connections. It's not that I'm being particularly generous there. I just don't really see the need to hide my connections away. So I always have that set to, yes, allow my connections to see my connections. We can, of course, change that to only you. So uh, there are some users on LinkedIn who are particularly privacy conscious about their network, um, and they will have that suggest, uh, set to only themselves can see their connections. Me, I've got no problems with anybody trawling through my connections. 
Um, a lot of the other options here are simply around um, changing your profile photo, uh, updating some of your uh, settings around uh, your profile, your headline, your Twitter account, and that sort of thing. Uh, so I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to walk through each and every single one of those. However, I just think those few um, uh, privacy settings are the most important to talk through. Now, when we become more active on LinkedIn, it can be quite annoying, to be honest, um, where we constantly get bombarded with emails from uh, groups or emails from personal connections and that sort of thing. And if you are getting too many notifications from LinkedIn or too many communications from LinkedIn, it's this communications tab here that you would need to click on and then you can set the frequency of the emails. So from here, you can change your email frequency for from other members, updates and news, group digests, notifications and so on. It is entirely personal preference which communications you have on or off. Personally, I have very few email uh, notifications turned on because I'm consistently bombarded with email every single day and I try and eliminate as many of those unnecessary emails as I can. So just it's just worth mentioning if you are getting bombarded with spam or you want to try and block users, you can also block users specifically from the basic profile tab right down at the bottom here you can manage who you're blocking as you can see i'm not blocking anybody but there is a complete list of frequently asked questions around member blocking and how you can go about doing that and so on so hopefully by uh, having been through this lecture you'll be able to understand exactly how you can eliminate the spam make sure that the visibility of your profile is absolutely accurate for what you want it to be make sure that your connections can see the most important stuff whilst being able to hide the irrelevant stuff from your connections that are of absolutely no benefit to them or you in them seeing them